So you want to learn how to add timestamps to your YouTube videos? Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you step by step exactly how to get that done. So you definitely want to stick with me all the way through this video so you don't miss anything. Now, my name is Rakeem Madison, and if you want the best tips, tricks, and strategies to grow a highly profitable YouTube channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon so that anytime I release any new videos, you get them automatically right here on the channel. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, so we're inside of the YouTube studio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you one of my YouTube videos where I actually put chapters on there so you can get a good idea of what it looks like and then i'll break down you know pretty much my formula for actually putting them together and then i'm going to teach you step by step exactly how you can implement this for yourself so if i go over here to the incognito browser i already have one of my videos pulled up so you can see there's sections in my videos these are what the chapters actually look like basically what it really is is to help the viewer you know make their experience a whole lot smoother right we know People typically want to get to the point, especially when they're searching for how to do something. I know how I am. Like if I go to a video and they're not really getting to the point, I'm kind of like, okay, can we get to the point? Where is it at in the video that I need to get to, to get to my thing? And maybe, maybe there's a little bit of selfish selfishness there, but I mean, we, we just trying to get stuff done, right? So now I'm about to show you pretty much my formula uh, for doing it, especially like for this video right here. Uh, let's actually go back over to the notepad. Now on this notepad, I, I pretty much put together the chapters that I did for that specific uh, video over on one of my other channels. Now, as you can see here, I did intro to summary, uh, what I did first with my secure card, the secure card payment strategy. So, so what am I doing, right? I'm sectioning it off so that the, the user experience is good. So they can see it and be like, oh, okay, this is what I really need. I don't want to watch the entire thing, but I'm good. Now, one thing that you got to keep in mind is you have to do 00, zero time code 00. zero. That's what YouTube has put out. Um, I have seen people do 00 time code 00, zero um, but for what I was looking up, it was showing double zeros just like I have here. Now, the next thing you can see, I was still in the uh, seconds, so I just stayed with that same thing. And then once I actually got down, then I just continued to use this just like this. Okay, so that's how you would do it. Um, but what I'm I'm about to do is I'm about to show you step by step how you can do it with your videos all right so now here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all of this cuz I actually prep uh, before this video to make sure that these uh, chapters were already done so I could just add them to my video on my channel so I'm gonna go ahead and copy these and then I'm gonna go back over here to the studio click on content I want to show you how simple this is this is so simple right and it, and it works every single time it has never gotten to a point where um, I put the chapters in and I've, I've really never had any issues with it all right so I'm gonna to go to the video that I use and then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in my description right I've seen people put them in their uh, in their comments I've seen people uh, put them in the description but me personally what works for me best is putting them in my description so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my description right here boom so there it is so we got intro and summary and then boom everything is there just how I want it and then all I'm gonna do is hit save all right so give it a second all right so changes have been saved now if I go ahead and click on this video you're gonna be able to see the time codes right there on the video all right so just give it a few moments and since there's no ads on this specific channel we should be good all right so as you can see there's my time codes so we can see right here we got time code number one time code number two right uh important channel creation step uh we see how to set up your gmail for your channel uh how to set uh it's, it's going kind of slow but bear with me all right so important channel creation step uh how to set up your channel settings uh, outro and then it pretty much takes us all out now I know that wasn't probably the best example I think the one that I did over here was more in depth right because it was you know a little bit a little bit longer of a video I would say but just keep in mind I usually do this for like more longer videos but I will I, I just like the fact that it has a benefit of helping you rank inside of Google because when you have these time codes YouTube and Google they have to understand what your content is about and what will happen is they'll actually start to rank your stuff so um, I have seen where 
let me go to Google and try to see if I can pull something up for you. So now if I go to, let's just put in a, 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 a camera, Canon, let's go with Canon 80D. All right, so I don't see anything as far as videos. Let's try Canon 90D. Okay, so let's try review. Let's try adding a review onto that and see if we can pull up uh, where, where the time codes will actually show up. Okay, so perfect, right here. So as you can see right here, here's a video that's showing up uh, from YouTube, and then you can see five key moments in this video, and then what do you see right here? These are time codes. So it allows you to rank inside of Google, which is powerful, because now you will be showing up on YouTube if you're ranking and using the right strategies for that, and then you'll have the ability to show up here as key moments, and people could be finding you over here on Google powerful stuff right so as you can see that is how you uh set up your youtube chapters uh and add your timestamps. it's very very simple uh let me know down below if you're actually going to be adding timestamps to your video i would definitely love to know and with that being said if you got some value from this go ahead and give me a thumbs up drop me a comment down below letting me know if this was helpful or if you have any further questions and with that being said i look forward to seeing you in the next video Peace.